garden, a lot of people think that um, they know that the soil is deficient. They know that maybe even their food is deficient. And there's probably millions and even billions of dollars that people spend uh, every year on mineral supplements. How would you say that getting minerals from the food would be different from getting mineral, you know, minerals from supplements, like, for example, calcium carbonate, as an example? Sure. Well, the human body really only recognizes compounds that have a carbon atom on them, and that's that's chemically, technically, how it's determined to be organic. Uh, there's a few exceptions to that, but basically carbon compounds with carbon attached is, is how you get organic molecules. And body, the body really only recognizes things with carbon as food. And everything else that's inorganic without the carbon, the body struggles to eliminate it in the best way it can and sometimes fairly unsuccessfully, and it just tries to lodge it in places in the body where it does the least amount of damage, you know, away from vital organs. So it tends to, it tends to accumulate in joints. And, uh, but what happens if you take supplements and other things like calcium carbonate that you mentioned, it's, uh, it's not food to the body, and it tends to be eliminated. And if it's, if it's, originally derived from a living source, what happens is it gets denatured. It gets, it gets uh, heated and damaged so that it actually liberates the carbon. And so it's not very effective. And, you know, most people have had the experience of flushing the toilet after going to the bathroom. Sorry to get into this, but, uh, you know, most of it, you can tell most of it goes down the toilet, and, and there goes your money, and not very effective. You know, even David Wolf, who a lot of people uh, recognize as a leader in the in the live food movement, he's recently talked about the calcium, taking the calcium carbonate, actually building up and causing plaque in the vessels, atherosclerosis, and therefore he himself does not recommend that anybody at the very least take a calcium supplement. So we're really left with, you know, a, a big problem, a big problem yeah. if we can't supplement with minerals. Well... Uh, let me just pose this to you, which is kind of a curiosity. You know, you, you, you see all these cows running around in the field, and, you know, they're 2,000 pounds. They're huge. They're heavy. They're strong. Uh, they never suffer from osteoporosis. Uh, they're generally in good health, and they have a single food. How do they do that? And, and, and I'm, and I'm know, assuming you're suggesting grass as their, as their, grass. Simple, and, as their you single know, food. It's, it's a good segue, actually, to the fact that all fruits and vegetables take up different numbers of elements, and it just happens that most of the grasses pick up all 90, and that's why they're such amazing foods, and that's why, you know, cattle can be so healthy on a single food. 